Peace, you guys. It's your girl, the man, Earth One E. Boy, my way to a phone show today. And we just found these videos in our phone that we did way before we went on home time. Lost files, y'all. But anywho, uh, we wind up going to a uh, crawfish place and rewarding ourselves for some victories in our life. And check these videos out. It was good, too. Yes, it was. Peace, everybody. Yeah. We actually were trying to go live and um, didn't work out that way. I think our service or something out <laughs> yeah. here is messed up. And um, it was sucking, bro. I know the lighting on this ain't that great, but it is what it is. We wanted to fill y'all in with our day because it's been a rough one. We call this officially a muck bank bang i guess that's what you call it but how do you hey, pronounce it i mean what i think it's called muck bang like muck bang right comment down below and let us know how you supposed to pronounce that but anywho we wind up getting some crabs treating ourselves for you know a nice paycheck this week and uh meeting some uh money goals that we were trying to get to and uh doing good on our 21 day healthy cleanse so that's how we wound up getting crabs we went to this place called um, la crawfish crawfish la's crawfish yeah so that was pretty dope we got a video coming out about that y'all so y'all look out for that we still out here in the uh, south southern texas area southeast texas um right now we're technically in uh port of arthur texas Home of the late great hey, let's check Pimp C out. and the legendary hip hop group oh, wow. UGK hey, cool. with frontline member Bun B out here in Texas. So we actually got, <laughs> we started eating y'all. We ain't do so we it had, like we, we supposed had to. More, but, uh, but we got snow crab legs. We had three pieces of corn on the cob. And we have there, um, I made some black, black beans. beans and brown rice to eat with it. And we got this seasoning that he hooked up. Because in there, at LA's Crawfish, you can actually make your own seasoning. So they have everything set out and you can make it as spicy or as hot or if you don't want it as spicy or hot, you can do it the way you want to do it. So I thought that was pretty dope. Man, let's just get to it. Um, last night, we're going to take y'all back about 24 hours. Right. Last night, we bring a load in from uh, basically the outside of Phoenix. A city called uh, Goodyear, Goodyear, Arizona. Uh, it's on a time critical load. We get a lot of those. That's being a team. Hope that TV is not. Uh, hope that sound from the TV ain't, ain't throwing nothing off. We got the remote. Give me the remote. Where is it? We kind of sat right here. First of all, this is where we eat at anyway. A lot of times, but we was hoping that the TV might give us a little light, which it did. So. Cause we actually got some issues with the lights <clears throat> just down here on the I bottom of the I don't know if I pull it over a little bit more, if that might help, maybe. What y'all think? Let me see if I can. How's that? Um, it's kind of leaning now. Kind of being a little. What's up? See if I can do it that way, kind of lean it back a little bit to get both of us. There you go. I think that's saying? a little bit better. Yeah, we can deal with that. All right. 24 hours. We bring a load from uh, Goodyear, uh, Arizona. Time critical load. We do a lot of those as being a team. Um, so we get into. Uh, ooh, I've seen that. We get to. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, down here, in, uh, we, we brought that load to, man, what's the name of the place we went to? It was right outside Houston. Same place we went to get this. We was at Humble. Humble. Humble, Texas. That's it. We get to Humble, Texas, 
And like I said, it was supposed to be in a seven o'clock delivery. We show up at about six and everybody's gone. Right. No employees, no nothing. I, I walk around the building, knock on doors, try bay doors, no luck. So basically we end up staying at the uh, receiver overnight. Not too much of a big deal. Because to be honest with you, we needed to rest anyways. Because like I said, we had definitely been running a whole heck of a lot this past week. And bringing that load, being a time critical load, not having a lot of time on it. You know, we had to run that and get that down, get that done. So we try to get that off. Can't get it off. Get the load off. So we wait overnight, get it delivered in the morning. Leave there. This is about 9.30. Kind of staying in the truck for a while. I knew all the knew I wanted to get. Get the crabs or whatever. I had already located a place. They didn't open to 11. I get there. We get there at 11, make that order. Um, kind of spent a little time in there. We met a woman in there that, that noticed... Lillian. That noticed my uh, Virginia Commonwealth University lanyard I had on, so you know that that sparked the conversation. Just dealing with Virginia, period. Uh, we leave there, drive down to Port Arthur, get the PAT <clears throat> to make our pickup, uh, check in, do all that good stuff, get back in the truck, go to release all our brakes. My red line or the trailer breaks out of here is a bunch of hissing. Like, what the world is that? Like, I've never experienced this before. Like, what could it be? So I get out the truck, walk around, peep my lines out, come to find out my red line that's going to the trailer is basically completely snapped. I mean, not in half, but it's right where all the metal coil, where it coils all around it. If you kind of bend that cord, you can see that the red line was basically halfway broken half. I guess just the pressure of, of uh, applying the brakes and releasing the brakes, it just gave way. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, so basically, could not release the, the uh, trailer brakes. Oh. When it wouldn't save enough, you know what I mean? It wouldn't supply enough pressure to the tandems to release the trailer brakes. So basically... Couldn't even move the trailer. I just heard all this hissing. So that was like, basically, we uh we end up leaving the pickup location because I'm like, man, it's already a Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna fix it. So, and we got this video coming out too. <coughs> the spices. I mean, this the, the spicing is good. But uh, yeah, we got that video coming out, but. So we basically run all around the city. Uh, I didn't have the right wrenches inside to really take care of it. So uh, after going to a Petro, never go there for tools or whatever, cause they ain't trying to let you help. They ain't trying to let you fix nothing anyway. So they ain't got no real tools for you. Stop doing that. <laughs> trying to trying to show off. But um, mm. so I end up uh, locating a AutoZone. Go to the AutoZone. <clears throat> uh, Matched up the size wrench and stuff I needed because I, I, I had a pair of pliers in the truck that I tried, but I couldn't I couldn't apply enough pressure to get it off with those pliers. It just it won't gonna work. I won't do it with stripping the thing, so I gave up on that. Like I said, shoot over to the uh, AutoZone, get a set of uh, wrenches. You know, every real man need a, need some tools. It was a good thing we was in the area that all those places was around. Yeah, because it's not. Most of the time in trucking, a lot of times you ain't got no auto places around. I mean, shucks, we could have been at a, a, a rest right, area, right? And went to pull off and couldn't, right. and been sitting there. Or we could have pulled off and been on the highway somewhere, and that's like a blue out. Yeah, trailer brakes would have locked up and would have been done. I'm a believer that everything happened for a reason. So if the truck wasn't trying to move, then it wasn't time for us to go nowhere. Then he needed to take care of that, and we'll get where we going when we get there. Plus, we already had the crabs, too, so it's like, right. this is meant for us to just chill. Right. <laughs> but, um, if this light stayed just like this, this would be great. <laughs> <coughs> it's a TV commercial. Right. But, um, Ooh, that's pretty. so, 
Get the wrenches. Take care of it. But now, you know, as far as the customer's concerned, we can't pick up the 6 a.m. So we um, shoot to the auto zone, shoot back to the TA or to the Petro. Because my issue was I got the side off that was that's connected to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> but the side that is actually connected to the glad hand, I could not apply enough opposite pressure you know what i'm saying to it while holding the wrench and the pliers to get it to release so what did i do i would say screw it i'm gonna go buy another fresh glad hand like why not i ain't gonna sit here like our second time replacing it no it's actually our first the first time i pulled away from a trailer and oh. completely destroyed our lines but that's a whole nother story if you want to see that video you can see that too that's you got, we have to scroll back to about last year to see uh, the video when we were in Tampa, Florida. Let's see if we can put that video in with this one so they can see it. Yeah, so making me really relive that, okay? Thank you. But, um, so I just said screw it. I'm just going to replace the whole glad hand with a fresh one. So I do that. Basically take care of that. So we decide we're gonna come back to the shipper just so we'll be here and won't have to travel here early in the morning to get here. Plus that was gonna be the actual real test to see if what I did was accurate because I could hook back up to the trailer, apply, uh, you know, release the brakes and allow it to do its thing. So all I'm gonna say is when that video come out, watch that and you'll see. What's what with that? But um, other than that, we just gonna lay here, not let our whole night be blown, whole day be blown. Um, it's still a little early, so we may uh, get on uh, iTunes, rent a movie, or we might just see here, sit here and see what comes on television and go to bed. I mean, and just. That's try, a good night for us. Try this day again. You know, because we go hard. Like, <laughs> Right. I don't know how many teams you guys watch and things of that nature. Or just truckers, period. And I can't speak for everybody. You know, I only am in one truck. But I know we go hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know I go hard in life, period, and I don't know too many people that go as hard as me. So that's why I don't feel bad at all when I say. Well, that's why we together, because both of us are like that. We go hard, period. And I mean, at the end do. of the day, my, th my, my thing would be, we went hard, still didn't have the money to do the things we needed to do and live like we wanted to, and we was going hard then. Mm-hmm. So we ain't gonna come over here now and get relaxed just because we making some money. Right. Nah. So. Yeah, keep this train moving. The days have definitely been going crazy for us. Not to mention, we got home time scheduled. Right. That was scheduled for a few days ago. Right. But me going as hard as I go, go or I guess you can call it just being greedy. I decide that we're going to take a last minute load from the East Coast in New Jersey and we're going to take this California load. You know, we, we can get over there get, and we can get back in a couple days. We'll get a load bringing us straight back. First off, heading west, mm. we get stuck in a snowstorm, New Mexico. <laughs> I'm sure any of y'all realize New Mexico coming down to 40 in the wintertime can be tricky. Well, we got tricked. Man, I just blasted it. Right. I'm going to tell you what. This, this seasoning that they have is it's on point. Name. It's on point. Mm -hmm. And I done had, we done had a whole lot of different ones. But this one, you can taste everything. You know, it's like evenly distributed. You know, sometimes you can eat some of them and you taste more of the lemon or you taste more of the spices or the heat but this is just like perfect yeah so 
we get to the West Coast, get that drop done. Get another load from the Bay Area where we were down to Southern Cal. Uh, we drop there. We literally have like a perfect load that brings us Southern Cal to Phoenix. Uh, and literally a load from, from uh, Phoenix to Texas, which would allow us to get that last load on this current pay week. So that really boosted our pay. And then we had a load coming from Port Arthur, Texas that was actually finaling in New Jersey, but we were going to be able to T-call it in Virginia, in Richmond, at the terminal. I'd be doggone if en route here to Texas, the customer cancels the load. Or at least that's the message we got. I never really know. Uh, I don't know, but I don't really know how it all works, but nonetheless, we get a message that the uh, load is canceled. So now we're trying to find other loads that can get us to Virginia. They sent us a, a Georgia load. There's no real freight coming out of Georgia to get us to Virginia, so that was a no-go. They tried to send us a load going to Kentucky. That was a no-go. So basically, we, I end up, we ended up finding a load that was going from uh, Port Arthur, Texas, this current load, up to uh, Pennsylvania. And then we got a load from that Pennsylvania area down to Virginia. So instead of being home uh, Thursday or Friday, which would have been the 20th or 21st, I think. Because I had a dentist appointment. Yeah, she had to change it. But other than getting in at the end of last week, uh, right now we're scheduled to possibly, and I say possibly just because I never know what's going to happen, but we're scheduled to be home on Tuesday. So. But. Let me say this. He said that he was being greedy, but as truckers, and I don't know, you know, depending on what your situation is, some people get paid percentage, some people get paid by the mile, some people get a set rate, you know, however, however. But for us, we get paid by the miles. So when we get a week that's up, and I mean really up, that's when you know you can stack. So it kind of brings me back to the mindset of back in the day, you know, hustling days. Don't act like y'all don't know. When you was hustling, if you had a week and you was getting good, you ain't go you ain't go home. You stayed out in the street okay. so you could keep getting that money. Because for whatever reason, whether it was the first of the month or maybe it was tax season or maybe it just seemed like you was having a good run that week and people was coming to you, you ain't going to just shut the shop down. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing with trucking. You know, we started off with a really good week. Because our, our last week had to end a little early. So the money that we made, no, we were in a load. We were on a, a load. From the West Coast to Mississippi. From the West Coast to Mississippi That's when right. we had to, um, we couldn't put that on our last check, on our last pay period. So it wound up going on our next pay period, which put us up about 2500 So we had a jump. So, I mean... That's why I was we like, just yo, keep stacking and, and keep we got stacking. a Cali road run on top of this. Let's, right. Like, we can be in California by the weekend. Right. And we could be already sitting at 4,000, almost 5,000 miles with another four days left to run. Right. The only thing about that is that, like, because Mo is the way he is, and he is, um, let me think of the right word. A new message has arrived. Oh, shut he up. He have addictive personality. So when he, when he ready... And and he wants something, I can't. <laughs> I don't, I can't. I can't battle with him, y'all. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. And when he seen that money and seen that the opportunity for us to keep stacking was there, that's what we did. And um, sometimes you you know with team and the way we do it, we don't necessarily do we don't do thirty fours and we don't take a whole lot of breaks in between. When y'all see us on um like getting airbnbs or uh taking breaks in different cities and things like that it's normally towards the end of our week when we've already made our money you know mm -hmm. but most of the time we're not gonna just do that or something happens the truck needs to be fixed or just you know they couldn't find us a load so instead of us taking a load late 
on a Wednesday when our week close out, we'll just say, well, let's just start back up on Thursday and just go get some for the night. Mm -hmm. So it just depends, you know, but... Well, sometimes we just feel like getting out of the truck and I don't feel like running. Right, right. We'll take a day. Right. Uh, get a reset. One of us will get a reset. Right. Uh, we do what we call rolling uh, 34s. Right. So... And after, you know, one of us is... We might we might take a little day off, you know, like a literally twenty four hour count. But whoever was the person that drove in prior to that, by the time it's time to ride back out after that day off, one of us has gotten thirty four already. Right. And then if that person starts, to, whoever has the thirty four starts their shift and runs their whole ten, by the end of that shift, the other person will have a thirty four, the fresh mm -hmm. clock. So that's kind of how we do our, so we actually get a 34 off of taking 24 hours down. The only thing that I had to learn a lot and really discipline myself was making myself go to sleep when he was driving. Because, of course, by us being a couple and wanting to be engaged with your partner, a lot of times... You know, we can have some good conversations or we'll see things based on the view and we want to talk to each other. And sometimes we'll find ourselves eight, nine, ten hours. Neither one of us, you know, I, the person who's supposed to drive next hasn't got enough rest. So, like, I've I've learned how to discipline myself with that. Like, he'll even tell me sometimes or even vice versa. We'll tell each other, like, I got five more hours. You better lay down and get some sleep, you know, or however, mm -hmm. you know, but... Um, and get off that phone. Right. But most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, we're pretty mindful of, like, paying attention to our body. Like, sometimes I can wake up refreshed after three hours. Um, This one is an energizer bunny. He can get no sleep and still run. And I know he ain't going to kill us and he ain't going to die. It's just he have that drive in him. And he loved this so much that he can do it but he he ain't crazy you know if he start feeling his eyes you know how it is y'all when you feel the back of your eyes be hurting and you start getting that that top of that back pain at the top of your neck and you mm. start everything start running together you know mm. you start seeing stuff and then you know you're supposed to be doing 65 and you're doing 45 50 and you you keep trying to keep up and you know you swerving a little bit i think that's just you nah it ain't just me <clears throat> Yeah, it ain't. Is it? Is it just me, y'all? I think so. No, it ain't just me. I put it this way. I know when I start getting tired, like I gotta roll the window. I be wanting to roll the windows down, or I listen to some music. Um, maybe change up the music because I like to listen to a lot of real chill music. But I might put on something that's a little more upbeat. So slight interruption because our daughter Tay decides to interrupt us as usual by facetiming but it's all good so that means this video is officially over peace